I don't think too far. I'm I'm not dating, so like I can't even think of having. Okay, Honestly, you say no to Nigeria, wait, wait, slow, man. Slow down, <laughs> rewind. You say you're not dating. Oh my god. <laughs> me and you could be me and you both, sis. <laughs> wait, why why did you say not to date in Nigeria? No, right now. Uh, That's a good question. Let's let's look at say yeah. no to Nigeria, man, because. Yeah, I'm. I'm Dude, what's wrong with that drink, guys? Why do you date in Nigeria, guys? Nah. The streets are not safe. Look, I'm not made for. I'm for the Nigerian streets. I'm sorry. I, I went. This is this is a true story. I went to the cardiologist like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> You say you have one more heartbreak. <laughs> oh, you're flat line. <laughs> <laughs> Only one more left. So no, please don't feel like <laughs> But bro, I don't have it in me now. Now, you know, you're no, wicked. No. <laughs> Why are you telling my cousin to get to the cardiologist? <laughs> you men are wicked, honestly. <laughs> So I just by I'm trying to live this free. Is <laughs> nah, live you're free of, a lot. Oh my god. This is no no. You see you see you man, yeah. Oh only God can help you guys. Now on the defense of my brothers, yeah, like sometimes you girls need to come correct, you understand? Huh? You girls need to come correct. We do so we, can we, you yeah. elaborate. Exactly. So basically, yeah. If a girl's coming here and she wants transactional stuff, we're why not, are you we're not the transactional babes, though. No, but why are you expecting your heart to still be intact? <laughs> we're not the transactional babes, though. We're not. Yeah, exactly. So like, we lose. It, you, exactly. I feel like people that can, like, do the transactional thing hmm. are thriving. Yeah, the winners. They're the this winners. one, you're in a transactional just, society. I'm so not, we have to beat the... When you go to Rome, you behave like the Romans, I mean. No, you just find... If you're looking for love, go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> like, go... F- Look for a virtual boyfriend. Shout out to <laughs> virtual, no, that. the virtual boyfriend can't run. But you see, all you, I'm trying to become more pan African, okay? Yeah. Before I was like, you're about, you're about, you're about. But you see, all you man that are, you know, on the other sides of Africa, hit me up. Hit me and spill mm-hmm. up, okay? Yes. Yeah. Well, you want a South African old man, yeah? No, okay. Nah, Them ones that nah. are bold at 30. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But honestly, like, that's the problem, isn't it? The transactional nature of society mm-hmm. makes girls that want to add value above the whole mm. just give me money for this give me money for that mm. we're the losers so do you think like if you if you go to america you find someone better for you of course you would they're very those american niggas are too freaky but you would <laughs> <laughs> <They're man dead. laughs> I don't know what's in the water there. Wait, so someone's got experience. No, I'm trying to behave yourself on this one. <laughs> You're trying to expose the other uh, Wait, the American niggas show you the star quality. Those treatment. American niggas, I feel like they they are on the freaky side because you know their media just pushes sex all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. true, true. So they're just too they're too entitled. They're too. Oh, sexual. that's another thing. I feel yeah. like countries where like sex is being pushed a lot. Yeah, people are less like. Um, how do I say respectful for relationships the, yeah but America is different because America has still a lot of religious like um, pockets so you can still mm. find people that marry at 21 22 you still find loyal people mm. but you have to just you find the you communities have to filter. are there in this Nigeria yeah Ugh. communities are not there really yeah because there's no man with money that has sense in the relationship that is that is that is that is actually so but that is actually i know some guys some of my guys that have got money and they have sense i've told you not to bring any of your guys towards me because i know (laughs) that they're all taps (laughs) that's the thing that's the thing i find like with nigerian men like once you have money Uh uh-huh and and it's a question i have i don't you know i don't know how deep in this no go ahead you know how much insight you can give but it's just like is it possible for a Nigerian man, I'm I'm streamlining this question mm. to have money and decide to be with like one person. Mm. I think it's I, I think it's I think it's hundred percent possible. Uh? <laughs> money, 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 yeah. Listen, money is good, but it's not the deciding factor with kind of your morals. A lot of men, right? Sometimes people get confused. They just relate their morals to how much money they have. But not a lot of men do. And I know there's I know a lot of people who have money but still Stick to one person. Is it possible? What now, percentage of are you men? sure? Exactly. Now, but look at this though. Hmm. The question should be the question you should ask is that: Is it normal for a man? Like, is it biologically normal for a man to be biologically with one normal. woman? Oh, please, let's let's hmm. okay. Let's not let's not go down because this hole. Let's, let's look at other <laughs> other mammals, right? They all polygamous. So why do you think it only comes humans? It. That's not even the truth. I'm gonna say something that's gonna be so left and so serious, and you guys are gonna be like, "Why the hell did I say this?" <laughs> But you're not going to expect what I'm about to say. Go ahead. Uh, it, there's, a, there's a taboo subject that men go through. 
that doesn't get said in public. And it's a, it's part of the reason why a lot of them are extremely hypersexual and promiscuous. Mm. Especially in Nigeria, a lot of men were touched prematurely. Jesus Christ. Okay? Sexual abuse is a taboo topic, which the crazy me is going to bring up, but it's a real factor. And the problem is when a lot of these innocent poor men, when they were children, were touched by the house help, touched by the auntie, touched by this, it causes hypersexuality. But because men tell themselves, yeah, they because of their own defense mechanism, they tell themselves, oh, I enjoyed it or it was lit, you know. I've met men that even in the UK, they, te- they had relationships with their teachers, but they'll say it, but they'll be like, yeah, it was cool, it was lit. The problem is, and that's why I said the topic is probably too deep for mm. today, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, I'm going to say it out because people know what's going on. And I've been mm. with guys and I've said, I've said it and they've admitted it to me in that moment. I said, yeah, really? it's true. When my own one happened, I was shocked and this happened. A lot of in Lagos, Lagos in particular, that's actually the root cause of a lot of the hypersexuality. It's trauma from sexual abuse that's causing them to be in so many women at a time. So that's why what you said... I disagree, man. It's okay, just like, it. you know what I mean? It's just like right now, somebody brought me like jollof rice. I, I still want rice and beans when I'm at home. Or I still want banga soup. Like don't it doesn't. Kill me. It doesn't don't mean. Kill me. It doesn't mean oh that I got traumatized God. by someone giving me too much banga soup when I was younger. I mean, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I think, I think, I think there's like a place for. You need help. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he does. Right? No, but right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the faithful side. One thing. Uh, single, don't even mind you know this one. Anyways, continue to I mean, Shorty, Shorty walked in. I was like peeking, but, but I'm still, yeah, I'm still going back to my... Oh, jeans. Oh, oh, jeans. You know what I'm saying? I still go back to my... Shout out to Ondo State. You know what I'm saying? There's you know, so no, no, no issues there. Yeah. Right. But I mean, I think that there's a place for like this two angles that both of you have. Mm. Like mm. what Joy said. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when people don't deal with the trauma mm. it continues to manifest and then you make excuses and i mean Thanks. also culture like i feel like there's a cultural part of it mm. nigerians or if you think back to like if you think back to your grandparents they probably had more than one wife. true i came from polygamous family wait wait let me ask I a question i came my grandfather had five yeah. wives yeah, exactly that's very true so did i but yeah, this yeah. is what i'm saying Look, that's a good point and that's a good point yeah mm. so i want to ask the question are you hurt that your man had another one, another girl, whatever it is. Or are you hurt that you figured out that your man has another girl? Ooh! I'm ready to answer that girls, question. Okay, a lot of girls are, are going to be happy with just, you know, as long as they don't know what's going on right now, we're okay. good over here. Totally Me, good I'm on the very first one that you stepped out is a big problem. So, my, look, my, my problem is, in, well, I've tried to analyze it and say, like, mm. where do I really stand? What's the issue for me? It's trust. So, it takes me some time to build Fast. trust. Yeah, and like what once is I trust clicked though? it, if the no. guy told you, "Listen, I'm I'm who I am. This is me." That's good. That's, then, that's, good that's, okay. that's not. That's not. He's not. But you let him make a decision. But yeah. most men don't do that, though. So why are you acting like most men say, "Yeah, this is me. I'm going to be with your friends. I'm going to be because with." Because they, your... they they're not trying to they're not trying to have you go on a mad one. They're just trying no, to keep so, you want to have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see the that's what, that's, yeah. that's what makes it. So for for, for me, it's a trust thing. Like, if you step out and I find out. If, if there's a valid reason, whatever. that For me, that's not even... It's just more like every time you do anything remotely similar. Mm. Oh, you were out, you... whatever. Mm-hmm. Once you're out, my brain is going to tell me that. Like, I can't live a life where I'm second-guessing. I mean, someone and I'm second-guessing. Yeah. So it's not even so much the action that you've done because... You can say, okay, forgive. Is the forget part. And sis, let me And the fact you. that like, it's going to affect my everyday. Peace of mind is my everyday. And yeah, sis, well, it's not just that. It's not just that. It's the manner no, in which these Lagos that's men. Disgrace. It's the manner in which. It's disgrace. It's the manner in which I have heard. You see, unfortunately for me, just comes to my table without me even wanting. The stories that I've heard, yeah, man will be <laughs> on their wedding day. <laughs> on their wedding day, they will get a babe in the hotel room next to where they're staying with the bride and be going to the side chick. And the, it's the manner in which you even disgrace the wife that's even like makes it so much. Yeah, I say, and another thing again, London has this issue. We've got baby mama culture in London. Yeah, that baby mama is worse Nigeria, than this well, thing, I man. prefer polygamy over baby, baby mama culture. Because yeah, it's cause still it's healthier. responsibility. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Men have responsibility. Mm. Before... Oh, behind the scenes, yeah, last week, London man were here in this same room, Tolu, saying how, mm, if you get a girl pregnant, yeah, you don't have to step up to the responsibility <laughs> because it's her choice. I'm like, what? as in, what's going on? No, nah, but look at this thing. In London, yeah, they know that people are less, res- men are less responsible. 
or they're becoming less responsible. So the government steps in to kind of take charge in those areas. So True. there's a bit of leeway given to the males in London mm. uh, or, or in this kind of culture where the government has given them a lot of leeway to be irresponsible mm -hmm. in taking care of those, those children, right? That's why you got the culture going on because worst case scenario, she gets a council flat, she gets some money, gets paid to her at, every, at the end of the month, True. X, Y, Z, and things are getting taken off a little bit. Mm -hmm. the edge is taken off a little bit. It's not, they don't have a luxury life. Yeah. So you kind of get why that culture is there. But in Nigeria... Huh. Your grandma, themselves. your grandma will look at you. Say, "This is gonna take up your son." They will say, "Gonna sort that out." Like they, they will yeah, look at you. Your, your family will hold you responsible to take care of a child. So it's it's different. <laughs> it's like more of a country. So if like gonna be popping babies, it up goes and back now. to what you said earlier. Everyone needs therapy in Nigeria. <laughs> mental health is, no, it shows is, is everyone. Everyone really needs. Wait, wait, do you think our mental health is getting affected being here? Oh, hundred percent. When hmm. I first came here, yeah. I used to look at one of my family members. It was always shouting, aggressive. Everyone was case. I'm like, nigga, calm shouting? down. <laughs> like, just relax. Look at the way you got high blood pressure. When my London friends come to visit me, they're now they're the ones telling you. me Why to calm down. Like, oh, you know when the star, you know when you're at a restaurant and they take forever. And I'm like, no, they're taking the piss. They're taking the piss. They're like, no, just relax, just relax. So there's a, it gets into your system. I feel, yeah, yeah. yeah it definitely affects you. Also, I want, I want to clarify. This is Lagos. Mm. Abuja is softer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other cities are slower. Definitely. Yeah, but I, I'm not designed for a slow city. Same, same, <laughs> same, same, same. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I am not, unless I have children and I'm trying to relax and everything, yeah. But like right now, with this mm -hmm. mindset, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> So like, this you know what I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get this. So like, I have no way of trying to relax or be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, there's, there's time for a butcher. A butcher. Mm -hmm. I, I. The only thing about butcher is again, I don't like old men. You see me? I always tell people I don't have daddy issues. <laughs> so <laughs> being around old men and I'm not a runs baby. <laughs> I can't take it for long. <laughs> Wait, what happens when you're having sex with old men? Do I don't know. <laughs> You wait for him to get it in his back. I have no idea. Yeah. So that was, that was actually a butcher's a like good a question. politician's playground. So.